We're about to lose one. Get the intruder. Copy. We're almost there. Security breach. Attacking the area. Security breach. Shit, I've got movement. Where? Everywhere. Contact! Hey, what's happening good people good people what's happening <laughs> what's happening how y'all doing good to have you here it's hurts with some more uh, splinter cell blacklist a spies versus mercs multiplayer action svm blacklist game mode right now and uh, we're heading to the silo as you can see where it all began here on the channel you know the very first episode was here and uh, really the, the same gear you're saying you're gonna see the same gear that uh, that we saw in the, that first video back um, last video, episode 37, uh, with the adrenaline suit and that uh, elite ghillie suit coming out. And, you know what, there's some really solid opposition here. There was, uh, it's all 56s, with the exception of one player on my team, a gemster who's level 20. And, of course, people do filter in and out a, a little bit through the course of this. One or two guys drop, new guys coming in, and I'm pretty sure it just remains elites, you know. So, it was a pretty, uh, you know, pretty intense battle for the most part. It could have gone either way. And, uh, you know what, the final intel count kind of reflects that, as it was really close, a really close battle in the end. Uh, I do have that adrenaline suit going. I am carrying, I am wearing my pocket pants, people. My pocket pants. Yes, yeah, so that means extra grenades, two frags, two VX, and a hell of a lot of speed when I have that adrenaline jacked in. I was tracking Steven here. Good to have you here in a video, sir. I know you do stop by the channel to check things out, so I finally got you in here. My number's not great in the end. Um, I have a pretty solid Merc run. I have moments of... A couple of good moments as the spy, but, uh, you know, the deaths did pile up on that spy side of things. Unfortunately, you know, it happens. It happens. And it happens, you know, when, when, they're, when you're going up against some, some stiff competition and a glitching M... You know, a glitching mofo named VidSurfer, who's seven... He's got seven shades of glitch. The guy's just a cheat, you know, I... It, some people will argue, oh, glitching isn't cheating. Well, yes, it is. It's, it's absolutely cheating. He's not only is he... Uh, did I catch him doing that kind of that pistola thing on the Merc side? Uh, he's also... There's some kind of variation for the spy side as well where uh, he, you, you can't even hear his fire when he's shooting his gun you know, at all. At all. That's the, that's the sucker right there, you know. So he ends up leaving be, uh, before this round ends. And But I was in several videos or several rounds with him. And actually, looking back at the videos, I actually saw him, you know, stand there as a spy with no weapon in his hands at all and gun some guys down at the particle accelerator. Uh, you'll also kind of see the result of it here. It's just, it's just bullshit gameplay, people. That's all it is. Uh, I, I don't understand why people need to, need, need to, to exploit you know, glitches or, or, or just outright hack and cheat, you know. And there it is. There's VidSurfer uh, putting down Outlier completely silently. That, that's what I'm talking about right there. He gunned him down. Don't know where it came from exactly. Pretty sure he starts closing in on me here. There he is. Yeah, it, I mean, he's doing the exact same thing. I, I think it's like the exact same thing that guys do with the uh, with that that pistol BS, that pistol glitch over on the, the Merc side of things, you know. So, but anyway, what are you going to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we'll move on from that. As, uh, as there's actually some pretty solid action here on the Merc side, I think. So let's take a quick look at the, at the suit as this, as I sit here in the spawn screen, looking through the camera into the, into the, in, into the world of the living. Yes, so it's the adrenaline suit, RFD vision, flash visor, uh, the armored gloves, pocket pants, running shoes, frag grenades, VX gas. And uh, that G360, same one you saw last episode, with the silencer on there, without a scope, no scope in it. Armor piercing, bolt blueprinting, and the accurized barrel. And you saw Steven come in on a beautiful flank there. Not only putting myself down, but putting down Outlier as well. But I'll tell you, I'll be back for some revenge, sir. I'll be back for some revenge quite quickly, I might add. So just remember with that G360, that bolt blueprinting, that accurized barrel, given massive increases to accuracy. So, And I still have yet at this point to have taken, stripped down that suppressor. I kind of like rolling the no scope. I'll probably attach some in, in good time, but... But for the time being, I'm kind of enjoying this. There's our cheat vid surfer. Put him down. And uh, hello, Steven. I see you tucked behind them crates. There you go. A little back-breaking action. As we go hunting now, 
And so I clear the way. I I clear the path for my my uh, my teammates, for my friendly mercs to move in, so we can hunt down this Galian fella. And here he is. Somebody's got a mark, either with a drone or an intel device. And I just completely botched it. Well played by Galian. At least staying alive one second longer. Managed to put me down. Managed to get some slice and dice and on a nice approach. Some sloppy fire by me. Some lazy fire, I would say. Some poor correction with that uh, with with my crosshairs or with my iron sights you know and uh, he managed to get in just ever so slightly on my flank got the slice and dice but got gunned down for his trouble as the mercs were piling in <laughs> gang banging his ass out of it anyway they managed to pick it up again at that 84 percent mark he carries it another two percent good steven keeping the hack alive i throw the wrong grenade out there and uh, and finally do follow it up with a uh, with a VX gas. You hear the cough, and there's somebody in that smoke cloud trying to get some intel. He carries it one more percent, then dies. Good surfer falling to my my toxic fumes, yes. And then uh, Galian coming across screen, slicing and dicing on outlier, just coming out of nowhere. I managed to gun him down. Follow it up with another VX gas grenade, and I think we finally shut down this pack at this point. 87 percent. One more little grenade. Gun nuts moved into the area, shutting things down, keeping things on lockdown. Right here, again, just a little real sloppy with and lazy with kind of the, how I was correcting the the uh, the iron sights there. Just, ah, uh, just awful, just bad. But I did manage to, to cut Zaffer down at the knees. <laughs> I wasn't mean to aim there, but I did put him down at the knees. Anyway, we hear Vidsur for his glitchy ass. He's up in this vent right here. I'm waiting for him to, uh, to pop his head out. There he is. Fill him full of lead. Get out of here, sucker, you cheating prick. Yeah, and he does, he does. He leaves before the end of it, you know, so looks good on him. You know. Fuck it. Anyway, <laughs> you all know how I feel about it. I hate the glitchers, the cheaters. I can't stand it, you know. I can't stand bullshit like that. Um, anyway, so uh, we're, we're doing a pretty solid job. Time really winding down. We're keeping things on lockdown for the most part. They really did make a mad dash. Not a mad dash, but a kind of a... Uh, a really heavy duty assault on that A sector, you know, trying to trying to bring in the intel there. Finally, they do shift. They move into the backfield. Somebody broke down the lines. You see uh, Gunnut doing a little pistola work on Vidsurfer. That's nice to see, putting him down. Obviously, perhaps Gunnut, out of ammo, been alive that long. He's completely depleted his ammo res or resources and has moved on to the pistola. Now, right here, there were some EMP grenades being dropped. And my man sitting down here in the corner, a uh, gemster, I believe, pulling out that drone. I knew that was going to attract a little bit of attention. The smoke grenade was, of course, down as well, so that was kind of a giveaway. And I managed to put down a Zaffer and probably save gemster's life. Of course, I think gemster killed himself in the process. If you all noticed that, yeah, he did. He was trying to save his own life. Uh, but I was on the job, and unfortunately, he blew his own ass up there. And, of course, I did catch Vid Surfer with the swap over to the pistola there. Um, out of ammo with my G360. The hack is still going. It is Steven. And I'll tell you, he's in a really nice location. Gunnut had kind of alerted me to this. So I was just kind of heading over here. Um, that's a pretty solid location for, for hiding. Uh, you know what? If I... I was I was really going over there. I had just been you know talking to Gunnut, maybe within the day of, of a ha having that uh, having this round captured, and and he was talking about all oh, this great location he had discovered over in the C sector of uh, of uh, of the silo, you know, over by this dumpster. And so I was going over there regardless. You know, it helped that I was able to see the cloak suit, the, the last little bit of that cloak suit activating that ghillie suit queuing up. You know. Anyway, Galian coming in like a goddamn I don't know a tornado. Slicing and dicing, putting down myself, running to safety, and then catching who was that gun nut as he came around the corner of the train car. And uh, goddamn, goddamn. Eventually, he ran into an outlier shotgun and he got bucked out. Sent to the next lap to join us there. And uh, <laughs> there we go, you know. Gemster left and came back again. And I think he leaves before the end one more time, you know. So uh, I think he actually rage quit it after blowing himself up, you know, with that. Because uh, he was the guy that did himself in with that drone. That was kind of funny. Unfortunate for him, you know, but funny. Funny nonetheless. Funny for us. Unfortunate for him. Yeah. Anyway, Gun Nut doing a little slice and dice. And you see it somewhere taking place out there borderline a sector on on steven they managed to pick this hack up on a one more time it seems to be it seems to be their main target of this game this round they seem to want to do battle out here i do a little check on this train car just couldn't I, you know what i've seen so many i've i've used that location in fact i use it on the other 
uh, won the, uh, the second half of this round when I'm in my when I'm done in my ghillie suit. Yeah, you know, posting up in there. I like that location. So you got you have to check locations like that. Now I, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I have seen the hacker a couple of times now. I've, I'm doing some pretty solid work keeping this assault off of me. There's a guy on top of the train car. I played this completely wrong. I never really saw him. There he is. I don't know if you saw him. He's sitting. The hacker Galian is sitting right on the or Galian is sitting right on the terminal there, and I saw him a couple of times looking back at the video. In the heat of the moment, I kind of saw him, but I wasn't sure. I had other threats to deal with, more pressing matters to deal with. I played it completely wrong. Vidsurfer tracked me nicely there, despite being a cheat and a, and a glitcher. You know, he tracked me nicely. Give him credit. Give credit where credit's due, you know. It puts me down. And then follows it up with a couple of kills on both Outlier and Gunnut, you know. However, the hack did get shut down. And uh, here we go. I get a little revenge on the Vidsurfer. Zaffer has picked up this hack. We're going tracking. You know he's going to be in the backfield, or, well, the backfield for us, which is, uh, you know, this end. <laughs> you know, he's going to be back there looking to hide behind some defenses. I would imagine the new line of defenses are just filtering in right now. And uh, and there he is. There he is. He, uh, he <laughs> Zapper detonates his or cues up his, uh, his overcharge suit, tries to run to safety. I'm completely out of ammo at this point, or, you know, was really close it in on having an empty clip and I just got we tracked down by respawning and cheating glitch and vid surfer of death so uh, there you go so you see him you know he's gonna be glitching in the game probably not hacking but he's certainly glitching and in my books that's cheating that's cheating you know anyway there we go some decent numbers to start things off myself four defense with a 19 and 6 right below me outlier with a 14 and 8 four defense of his own so they were certainly on the terminals they were certainly on them they managed to bring that hack in overtime in overtime that a sector so all we need is one and one one full terminal one percent of a second and we're good victory is ours and uh, you know what that is not going to be as easy as you may think you know because like i said there's some competition in here you know uh, a lot of uh 56s obviously steven's a threat obviously vid surfer's a threat you know he's going to be there glitching you know? he probably has some skill I'd and that's the thing that's the thing that really bothers me is that when people that have some skill feel the need that they need to give themselves an even greater edge you know Put your skill on the line against other skilled players without, without exploiting crap, you know, it just, it, I don't know, it just annoys me, I don't know, it just really bothers me, you know. Anyway, the gun nut really staying right on my heels here. You know, we had, we, we had a close moment of greatness, like look at this, I came in on, on Galleon there, or Galleon as he was coming around the corner, gun nut, we had already lined up the death from above, beautiful little takedown, because of that moment where it was just like, oh, I didn't get the kill, and I was, you know, I was, I was trying to think, why was I not getting the kill here, you know, and I saw it all started to register, but it was just that kind of, that one or two seconds it took to really register what was going on. I couldn't get, I didn't get all my EMP grenades in time, and that drone managed to sneak in there, put down both myself and the gun nut in that one, that one detonation, you know. So we both spawned simultaneously, we're coming in to try and help out the cause here at sea, but we can't get there in time, as Gemster, he falls to a little fire from the Zaffer man. <laughs> Zaffer man putting him down and actually gun nut he follows me right in here as you can see um, I think he queued up uh, well I dropped the MP grenade he followed it up with an overcharge suit that's what he's wearing or, or the overcharge of the overcharge suit and you can see we've both moved in I mean kind of rolling side by side here uh, he makes a nice play here me not so much but just keep an eye out for it look at the players in the in this sector there's one man on foot um, right by the terminal there's a second man on his knee who's obviously operating a drone and uh, you see gun nut lower level right now I kind of <laughs> now this is beautiful watch it there it goes there goes the overcharge look at the upper right hand corner not only did gun nut take out galleon or galleon there with his mine but he took out Zaffer with his uh, with his drone as well so I thought that was spectacular that was an epic overcharge taking out two guys with, with uh, two different devices just beautifully timed allows me to sneak in there pick off that to, or get that terminal going get the hack going on the on the C sector terminal and I kind of settle into a you know familiar location I do like this corner I do like the tunnel but I really thought that there would be some some heavy heat coming down there I did have gun nut down there however so it could have been it may have been smarter for me to move in but I figured what I thought is because he had just left a dent in the uh, in the opposition with that great overcharge suit that we were going to have some spawners coming down those stairs and uh often they'll move right for that tunnel or at least one will you know now a good a nice little death from above i get marked by the drone 
and then Galleon there, who was just coming in, you know, he had just sp spawned up there, he fell to his own mine from uh, that overcharged kill from Gunnut, and uh, he was just moving in, and like I said, he had a perfect line of sight on that tunnel, on the stairs, I tried to escape to safety, but I just couldn't pull it off, and of course you see two bulls there, meeting head to head in the, uh, in from my death screen, Steven and Gunnut, Steven getting the upper hand there, and, and sticking him, sticking him good, and, and continuing his little rampage, as he puts down Gemster as well, now with all that activity kind of locked down, or, or tied up in the C sector, I figure I've got a good opportunity here to get this hack going on, hey, come on, we only need the one, we only need one to tie things up, and if we can get one, goddamn, we can get 1% more. Yes, I know we can. So, and there we go. Like I said, I promised y'all I'd be using this location, and I do. And I do. I put it into effect. And uh, I love these little quarters, you know, if you kind of keep, keep a good bead on things, on activity, as it swirls around you, and you move around appropriately, cut off those lines of sight. These train cars can be fantastic, especially when you have a defensive perimeter down. You can see Gunnut closing on in here. I do manage to fill a vid surface full of lead and then followed up with uh, a kill on Zaffer there as well so that vector and I haven't even done the, the full kit rundown have I that uh, that vector really earning its uh, well, earning its worth there with that pair of kills that pair of takedowns let's do a little rundown here it is old faithful with a few modifications obviously it's the elite ghillie suit rather than the uh, digital one or whatever the hell it's called um, the uh, the 5.7 and the vector is in there the sonar goggles the RFD disruption the melee range or slash takedown gloves ID block Locker pants, the whisper boots, and my EMP grenades on that vector outfitted uh, the outfitted modifications on it. Red dot sight, silencer, match grade ammo, a bolt, blueprinting and the weight balance. And this is about the end of my run as I get marked up here. The kind of just a, uh, I was I, <laughs> as soon as I got marked, my first instinct was to kind of run to cover, but he came right around that corner. I got that EMP grenade down, took out the Intel device. Probably could have gotten the death from above had I been a little bit more on the ball, on the mark there. And then Zaffer did a kind of a great job freeing or, or tracking me, almost freezing me up, you know, because he he held his ground on that uh, on that line. He had line of sight through the train car, and he held his ground on it. It for, it forced me to freeze up for a second, and and then when he finally did move around the train car, I lost my vision. I lost my sonar. I lost my track on him. So he w actually was able to come around there and really catch me off guard. It just Things didn't work out well, you know, and I botched it. I botched it. No excuse, just I botched it. But uh, Zaffer there doing a great job, really, you know, freezing me up. There's no, there's no denying that. You know? And there goes the vid surfer. There goes our cheater. Goodbye, sir. Don't let the door hit you on the on the ass on the way out. Yes. Anyway, we've picked up this hack one more time on the A sector, and with Vidsurfer gone, I, where the hell did Zaffer come from? I, I thought I had just looked down that lane. I could have sworn I just looked down that, that lane, unless he kind of came in behind me, you know, from kind of our spawn. I'm not really sure what happened there. It felt a little, you know, laggy or something, but he came in there and just put me down really quickly and, and caught me completely by surprise. I don't know what the, what was happening there. But, uh, you know what, the team picking up the slack has taken down their, their entire well, the entire opposition at this point. I think there's only they're only floating with three players right now. I'm pretty sure it's not too long before a fourth man joins. But uh, I saw three three uh, three mercs fall to some slashing and dice, and perhaps one to a little gunfire. I'm not really sure, but uh, they were completely eliminated. Gives us the opportunity to get that much deeper with this terminal. Uh, the hacker Gemster, you see him just hanging around up there on the train car. I feel like I'm in a good position to kind of cover him on both sides if I can do it right. And of course, a gun nut and outline are keeping a uh, kind of a wide perimeter here, uh, you know, as the early warning system, you know, trying to put up some uh, some some tight uh, defenses on those entry points, or at least on the one, you know. I didn't like the fact that Gemster pushed forward. I think it was kind of foolish on his part to pull that off, you know. But I guess he felt confident this, at, at this point with us really keeping this area on lockdown. I do get the drone kill with my EMP grenade, perhaps saving Gemster's life in the long run of it. We'll never know. And then a little death from above on Zach as he tries to push in last minute looking for the hacker looking to end that hack before it could uh, you know before those dying seconds ticked away and uh, he, he failed miserably at it yes he did anyway this here is Steven I almost get a little some, some good fire on him with that vector but he does duck away he's looking to guard that uh, that terminal as quickly as possible you know he I'm sure he was aware that that if we touched a terminal it was game over for them basically at that point you know so he was moving right on the B terminal perhaps he, he had, was tracking a little bit of motion with a motion track I'm not really sure but he seemed 
well aware that there was some activity over here in the B sector. After some sloppy fire, after having to go from my pistola to my, well, from my vector to my pistola and back again, I finally did put down Zaffir as he was charging in there. He kind of botched the melee attempt, but, uh, and I took advantage of it, you know. It wasn't a pretty exchange, but it was, it got the job done. Anyway, there's one man left in the area here. You can see he's been spotted up by a, a friendly's intel suit. Very nice to see. Christian, Christian's has moved into the room, uh, come, you know, rounding out that team of mercs, of, of elite mercs on the other side, and he's, you know, making his presence felt here early on as he takes out all three of my teammates uh, while I was initiating that hack, and then does me in while I'm kind of distracted. I don't know what I was thinking there. It was pretty, pretty awful though, you know, just the way I was playing it. I, I should have known that there were going to be men coming in behind me, you know, uh, on my flank and, and just kind of in my blind spot. I just felt a little tied down there. I was trying to be... I don't know, a little abstract, a little creative in how I was handling that. I don't know what I was thinking exactly, but uh, I, I know that I was eating lead by the end of it. That's what I do know. And Steven coming in, shutting me down immediately with a quick drone into the spawn. Uh, you know, I, I can I can respect that. I don't mind a drone coming in. It's when guys are just camping it, you know, camping it, camping it, camping it. But uh, shutting shutting down any attempt here at us, kind of pushing it, or me there in particular, any attempt of me pushing it at the spawn uh, for that one that for that one life. Not a big deal, you know. I, I I bring drones into the spawns at, from time to time. You know, it depends on the level. Anyway, uh, things winding down now. We have managed to pull in nine percent of the second terminal, so it's one hundred and nine to one hundred, and victory will be ours as there's thirty seconds left. Just kind of winding down at this point. I really just kind of played a little bit too ballsly, you know. I knew that victory was in the bag, and uh, I probably could have just chilled a little bit. As you see Steven wiping out three of us, Outlier, myself, and Gunnut, putting all three of us down with some great fire. I think probably he was up on that, uh, where was that coming from? Up on the bridge? Up on the catwalk? I think so. I think so. He's posted up there. And uh, Christians, you see him doing a fantastic job keeping that C terminal on lockdown. But of course, it was too little, too late. But uh, <laughs> I, cer I certainly was, as I said, piling up the deaths on that spy side of things, especially uh, coming down that final stretch, you know, of time. Uh, let's take a look at some names and numbers. See, pretty solid group of guys in here, you know. Uh, Vid Surfer, of course, was in here. I think he was a 56 as well. But he's a cheat, a hack, you know, or not a hack, a cheat, a glitcher. Uh, call it what you will. Maybe he's a hacker, too. I don't know. I don't know. So, it's good. Good that he left. Get out of here, sir. We don't want your kind around. Anyway, here we go. Myself, uh, four defense, 24 and 13. Right below me, gun nut. Pretty solid, you know. One defense, 16, 22. Uh, outlier, you know, another great performer. Four, 16 and 21 for him. And uh, Gemster there, he was in and out a couple of times of this game. You know, <laughs> Rage quit after he blew himself up with his own drone, but he was back. He was back. He shook it off. You know, he, he had to go down in the locker room and, and throw a little fit. Uh, bunch a couple of lockers, and then he, then he came up and he was back on the field, back on the ice. Call it what you will. Anyway, uh, down on the bottom level there, Steven, some great numbers. Uh, one defense for him, 20 and 14. Galleon right below him, certainly a worthy foe, you know. He did, he was doing some great slicing and dicing on the spy side of things. Uh, one, one defense for him, 21 and 14. Zaffir, you know, not too bad, dragging his feet a little bit there with a 2, 7, and 16. And of course, Christian came in late and came in just completely enraged. He's like, I'm going to swing this battle in our favor. And he came in with one defense on me and 7-1. Uh, and one. So pretty solid numbers down there. Anyway, everybody, thanks for stopping by, tuning in, checking out this uh, this episode of some SVM. Um, it will continue. It will continue. We'll have a new one up next week sometime, I'm sure. I may try and get into some classic and get one of them rolling. So uh, your support is uh, greatly appreciated. And uh, until next time, all, remember why it hurts. Later.